Hi boys and girls, here is, uh, I'm going to show you the video on how to create your um, assembly. And uh, so here is the little motion, this is what I'm looking for. Um, I want you to, to, you know, in the end when you turn this in, you're going to turn it around so I can see the things that you made. And I want to see that this actually works. So you can show that the holes that you made on your original part line up correctly to make this move back and forth. And you can see, um, I'll just go up here just so you can see. So you have the active uh, contact solver and you have the small gear and the large gear uh, contact set. So you just click on contact set and you set the contact set for them. And <clears throat> this is what I want to see in your video. If this doesn't work, you need to go back and make some changes because when you go to put it together, it's not going to work, okay? So this needs to be a part of your video showing that, that it actually moves and you can you know, turn it just to show that it moves or you can zoom in here or, or whatever you wanna do um, for your video. So let's show how to put this together. So I'm gonna start with an assembly. I'm gonna go to place and I'm gonna place in some parts, and I'll talk about these parts in just a little bit. So we want a dowel rod, a compression ring, um, your gearbox, the large tooth, and the small tooth. And we'll just go ahead and put these in here so you can see. I'm just gonna move them around. There's large tooth, small tooth gear, uh, small gear, and here is the um, dowel rod, okay? So the dowel rod is 3 eighths of an inch, um, and each one of these, now you're going to modify the gears that you made because the gears that you made, um, the hole in the center of this on your object is one half. These need to be three eighths of an inch. Okay. And, uh, that's what you're going to do to, to modify these things, uh, to make them so they actually fit because the gears that I printed for you they're going to be three eighths of an inch hole in the middle. So you need, uh, you'll need four of these rings and you'll need two of these. And so you're gonna take and you're gonna insert these inside of here and you're gonna pick the size and if you look at our insert here if it comes in like this you can flip it so it goes up and down and you're gonna hit OK so this is sticking out the height of yours um, you're gonna adjust the height of the dowel rod to whatever you want I think I made mine uh, I don't know something like 2.25 or something like that but you can kind of mess with that the, the thing that matters the most is that it's 3 8 inch in diameter <clears throat> So we're going to insert, I'm using the insert command right here. So we're going to insert into here and you can see how it comes like this. I just flip it using that little thing and we hit okay. <clears throat> now what you want is you want a compression ring. So we're going to go insert, we're going to insert this compression ring there, apply. I'm going to insert this compression ring there, apply. Now I'm going to stick the big gear on. It doesn't really matter. You can put it over here or over there. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> and then we're going to take and we're going to put this onto here. And each time I'm, I'm hitting apply, okay, apply. And then I'm going to put a compression ring on the top, apply, put a compression ring on the top, and then hit okay. Now, here is my, my solution. You can see compression ring, gear, compression ring, compression ring, gear, compression ring. And then and on the top, you can see that they rotate. And you can see when I'm doing this, it moves everything around. You need to make sure that you ground this base. Okay, grounded. So then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this over until it is pretty close to being in between. <clears throat> and if they overlap, then you made your distances incorrectly. 
But I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna choose small gear. I'm holding control. I'm gonna use large gear. You can do them together or you can do them one at a time. Right click, contact set. And then the last thing we're gonna do is inspect and activate contact solver. Boop, just like that. When it's blue, it's activated. And then when you move it back and forth, you can see that they bump each other. And if they, if they work correctly, they'll move perfectly, just like that. Okay, that's the way it's gonna work in real life. Okay, that's all I have. That's your um, how to do your assembly. And again, just so you, you know, get this again, when you turn it in, show me that this turns and then rotate around and show me what, what you did to cut out some parts. Okay, that's it.